get the Soul Warding rune as a priest, in Phase 4 of Season of Discovery, you're going to need to get a party that is willing to spend about 2 hours time clearing out Stratholm. Heading up to Northern Eastern Kingdoms, into the Eastern Plaguelands, and up to the dungeon, you're going to have to clear out both the living and the dead side of Stratholm, essentially, to get this rune. You can have a little bit of leeway here, it'll really depend on some randomness. Starting out in Stratholm, you need to go around the left side, and a left again over to the courier's mailbox. Killing the courier is going to get you three mailbox keys. You then need to clear through Stratholm, finding each of the mailboxes and looting them. This is going to get you a soul jar, a unique item that can only be held by one person. With the three different mailbox keys, that means you're going to need three different people to pick up a soul jar. The first soul jar is nearby the original couriers, just off to the northern side. To get the second mailbox, you have to go through the rat's nest and then hang a right. Just slightly up the hill is going to be that mailbox for you. Do not go get the third mailbox yet. At this point, we need to go and clear into the cathedral on the living side. Clearing our way to the room just before the Cannon Master's little event, you're going to find this room that has three pedestals in it. You need to talk to each of the pedestals and pay attention to what it says. There are eight different possibilities that a pedestal can say, and the three pedestals are all going to say something different. You're going to have to note out what each pedestal says, and each of those sayings is going to relate to a certain boss within the dungeon. So based off of the names on the different pillars, we're going after certain bosses. When you kill the appropriate boss based off your pillars, you then need to use the soul jar on their corpse to loot the soul of that character. Here's the list. The smell of brimstone fills the room. This zealot greets you with a boom. That is Cannon Master Wily. Just behind this room, you can go through the Cannon Master event and take him out at the end of the room. Holy Fuhrer purges sin and yet a shadow lurks within. That is going to be the Balzanar boss, the final boss of the living side, also known as Datharan. The people look to him to lead in their hour of greatest need. This is Magistrate Bartholus. This guy is located at the Elder Square, at the start of the Undead side. Just before you actually start Undead Strath, you can find this guy here, and this is also where the final mailbox is. You're going to want to make sure that you know if this guy's your target, and have one of the existing soul jars, killing him before you get that third soul jar from the mailbox. A spectre cursed to guard a tower, no solace gained from wealth or power, is Baroness Anastari. This is going to be the first Ziggurat boss, immediately to the right after entering the undead side. Among the dead, its mortal dwells with acolytes and icy spells. That's Malachi the Pallet, one of the Ziggurat bosses. This one is technically the second Ziggurat boss, but oftentimes it's the last one. If we take the right path past the first Ziggurat all the way to the second Ziggurat on the right, that's where you're going to find her. The Ancient Kingdom Rediscovered Trades One Master for Another is Nerub and Khan. This is going to be the last Ziggurat boss. If you are entering into the Undead side, you go a left to go over to this guy. Built from Flesh, a sin of science hunted by Forsaken's finest is Ramstein the Gorger. This is going to be the boss that comes out to greet you after you finish the full Abomination Courtyard. This can be found after the final Ziggurat is finished. And of course, finally, a champion of wicked malice. Hulking horrors guard his palace. That is Baron Rivendare, and you're going to have to fight through the entire dungeon to find this guy. Once you have all three souls, you need to go back to the living side, go to the pillars, and interact with them, giving them the, the appropriate soul. Once all three pillars have been given their soul, you're going to be able to loot your brand new rune. I hope this guide helped you out. I'm Zesty Fresh Sazaza Games, and we'll catch you guys next time.